Hi everyone, my name is Happy Laura and today I have my September favourites for you all. So September was an amazing month for me, it was spring, the weather is warming up and just everyone seems to be a lot more happy outside and that is great. But anyway, today I'm going to share with you a few products that I've been obsessed with over the month. So if you want to see what I've been loving, then just keep watching. <laughs> okay, so the first product I want to talk about is the L'Oreal Revitalift magic blur cream basically this is just one of those kind of pore filling line smoothing texture evening creams um i picked this one up from priceline maybe about a month ago and i've been using it almost every single day since it's really really good at just kind of evening out your skin texture um, I don't really find it does too much for longevity, but then again, I do find that products like this, they don't really prolong my makeup at all to begin with, so that wasn't an expectation I had for this product, but it does what I want it to do at kind of smoothing out the face. So moving on from that primer, I want to talk about foundation. This is the Dior Skin Star Foundation. I've had this in my collection for quite some time, and I've only really started enjoying it. Um, I love for the fact that it has SPF 30 in it, just as more of a top up of SPF because I feel like you can never have too much SPF on a daily basis. Um, it looks beautiful on the skin, it's very very lightweight, it's not overly matte but it's not overly dewy either. It's just a very very nice medium texture. It's definitely not a full medium coverage but it is a nice happy medium coverage that is buildable if need be. I have mine in the shade 021 and I feel like that does match my fake tan quite well. Coincidentally enough, I don't actually have it on my face today, but I have been wearing it a lot on an everyday basis for the month of September. This is really, really nice. Another L'Oreal product is actually a skincare item that I've loved using before I use that Revitalift Magic Blur Primer or that foundation. Um, this is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Concentrated Correcting Serum. I don't know if it really corrects the skin all too much, just because I don't really have that much that really needs correcting, but I do notice that it does make my skin very, very, very smooth. Like, I don't know, it's just, it smoothed my skin so well and I feel like it's an amazing product to put on my skin first, go in with a moisturizer and then go in with that L'Oreal Revitalift and I feel like it's just the most amazing combination. For my eyebrows, <laughs> could you imagine if like you had no eyebrows? Anyway, <laughs> so I want to talk about the Illamasqua Brow Cakes. This is literally throwing it back all the way to like 2011, 2012, 2013. I used this product religiously back then. It was the only brow product that I even owned, let alone used. Um, I used the shades Motto and Thunder. I mixed them together to get my own custom shade because this is way too cool toned and this is way too warm toned for my eyebrows. So I kind of just mix the two and it gets the perfect color. They do sell a color in between this, but when I first bought them, they were sold out of that shade, so I just bought the two. The reason why I love this, it is a, it's the ease of a powder, but it still has the longevity of a pomade. So I remember when I was buying this product, the person told me that there is like, it's like a wax complex to it that doesn't make it like, if you touch your eyebrow, it's gonna fling off kind of thing. Like if you swatch the powder, like if you ever have the opportunity to touch this in store and then you touch it between your fingers, you can tell that it's not just an ordinary powder. Like there's just that little bit of grip to it. It's really, really strange and really, really hard to explain, but I've been absolutely adoring this again. I don't even know why I stopped using it. Um, yeah, I love this product so much and I use it with the Illamasqua eyeliner brush. This brush is also amazing. The bristles aren't very long. So you don't really have too much flimsiness going on. So yeah, these products go hand in hand with each other. They're amazing. MAC Pain Pots. It took me a quick minute to get on the bandwagon, but I've been obsessed. This one is Indian Wood. It is the most perfect bronze shade. Like, oh my goodness, can we just take a minute? Like, ah, <laughs> it's gorgeous. And then I've also got Soft Ochre. This is more of just a very, very simple base that you can just use over or under, should I say, 
any eyeshadow. I do have soft ochre on my eyes today, but obviously I've got shadows over the top so you can hardly see it. But it does make a really, really good base for pigments to stick to. So if you're in the market for like a, a pigment kind of sticky base kind of thing, check out the MAC Paint Pots. They work quite well for me. For eyeshadow, I've been loving two palettes. Oh my goodness. It's like so late at night and there's like motorbikes driving past my house. What's the go? I don't even know. Anyway, I've been obsessed with two palettes this month. So this one is the Models Prefer Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I did do a first impressions on this palette, so I will link that one down below for you guys. Um, yeah, this is an absolutely beautiful palette. I could not fault this. It's just beautiful. It's got a combination of matte and shimmer colors, and I've been using it basically all month. I only recently just uploaded my first impressions, but I literally filmed that like six weeks ago, I swear. <laughs> and then another eyeshadow palette that I want to mention is the Bo the Bokka. <laughs> oh my God, it's time for bed for me, I think. This is the Becca Ombre Nudes palette. Now the reason why I'm mentioning this palette in a video when you look at it, it's very, very basic shades, but this is the only eyeshadow palette, well, these are the only eyeshadows that I've ever worn alone, and someone's been like, I really, really like your eyeshadow. Like, I've never had anybody in my whole life compliment me on, like, my whole, like, eyeshadow color. Like, they've been like, oh, I like that sparkly color on the inner corner, or, oh, I like your crease color, or, or oh, I like your lid color. But... I've never had so many people in my life tell me I love your whole eye look. And the only time I've ever had that compliment is when I've used this palette. Um, it has been the palette that I've been reaching for every single day, so I really want to show you how I've been using it. But yeah, for lip products, I have three. The first one that I want to talk about is the Maybelline Color Drama in the shade Nude Perfection. So I'm not too sure if I've talked about this one before. If I have, I'm sorry, but I really, really enjoy it. This is actually, I think I've only shot this once or twice. It is quite a small chubby pencil to begin with. Um, so yeah, but it is an amazing product. So it's basically just a jumbo pencil, but the color, oh my dear goodness, look at that. Do you see how gorgeous that is? Like it is the most perfect nude, brown shade. It's not completely matte. It does definitely have a satin component to it, but it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I want to talk about the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet Liquid Lipstick kind of thing in the shade Ole Flamingo. I don't know how to describe this because it doesn't really dry on the lips. It kind of just blends in with your lips and there's no real product that kind of dries on your lips. Like, you can feel stuff on your lips, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't feel like really really dry like some lips, liquid lipsticks can make you feel um, it also provides my lips with a bit of a stain which I appreciate and I don't notice that it gets on my teeth and then last lipstick I want to talk about is MAC Brave it looks like this it is a beautiful beautiful everyday color if I don't want to be super super vibrant but I still want to have a bit of pink to my lips so this one is definitely the kind of in-between of the two. It is that one there. So I've kind of just been opting for either a brown, a bright pink, or a kind of pinky nude color. And I've been happy with all three. I love them all for their own reason. MAC lipsticks, I just love. They are amazing. They last a long time and they're just really, really good quality. The Maybelline, I love because it lasts a long time. It's good quality, good price. And the Bourjois I love because the color is amazing, feels amazing on the lips, and it doesn't transfer onto your teeth. Okay guys, so that is all the products that I have to show you for today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I upload every single Wednesday, so subscribe so you don't miss out. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye!